haven't fixed up the theme song yet. So we're just going to get this old one and I'm, I'm going to have fun with it. What's up? I'm Matt Stauffer. I'm the host of the 5 Minute Geek Show. And you're looking at me using my new SM7B microphone. That's fantastic. I'm super excited about it. Talk about it more later. Today we're talking about HTTP status codes, and this is going to be the video that plays anytime somebody gets a 404 on the website, as suggested by Adam Wathen. So I have to actually kind of keep it trim on this one so that, you know, people actually watch it if they hit the 404, because that's going to be too great. So when you're dealing with HTTP, which is the transmission of some form of document, usually, you know, your website or whatever, across HTTP, so that means not across FTP, not across Gopher, but across HTTP or HTTPS, which drives the vast majority of internet traffic, pretty much all of it. Um, you've got not just the body of the page. There's a lot of other identifying information. So you've got request headers, which is like when I'm sending a request saying I want this website, I'm also saying here's my you know browser information, all that kind of stuff. And then response headers, and it's sending all this kind of stuff about the status of the server. Is this cached? How long ago was this created? what should you do if you want to forward this or that or whatever. There's all this additional information that you don't actually see in the browser. And the browser handles it, and APIs handle it, and API consumers handle it, and all that kind of stuff. But the actual website, you don't see it. Um, so those are HTTP stat... Well, those aren't... So it, that's a part of the HTTP spec, and the status code is like the simplest part of it. It's like before you even get to the title or the HTML content or any of this kind of stuff, you're just getting to like, hey, here's what happened when you tried to access this particular URL with this particular set of request headers. Um, and so they normally come in a range of somewhere, you know, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 something. So, you know, you've probably seen 404 before, which means page not found, right? But there's also a lot of other interesting ones. And so there's there's a ton of them that you can find online. Wikipedia is actually a really good one. They've got a list of all these um, status codes and it's actually a little bit better than the W3's version, be even though that's canonical, because Wikipedia has included some more information. For example, Twitter used this one for a while. These guys used this one for a while that you can't get from the or original spec. So go there and check it out. But the basic thing you want to know is each of these codes is sending a very machine consumable message, which is like, hey, machine, you should be able to do conditional statements based on this HTTP status header code um, that let you know what happened when you tried to access this. And there's some really clever, you know, all you need to know about HTTP status codes in a tweet kind of things that are actually really useful for understanding this. So the 100 code, so that's everything from 100 to theoretically 199, although there's only a few of them. Hold on. 200 codes, here you go. 300 codes, go away. 400 codes, you screwed up. 500 codes, I screwed up. Now, if you've never worked with these HTTP status codes before, this might be kind of confusing. So let's talk about it. So 100 has things that are kind of like, hey, I'm processing things or, oh, I'm about to switch protocols or whatever, um, or something's going to keep going. So it's just like, hold up a second. We're not quite there yet. 200 is like, yeah, cool. That sounds great. So the most common one is the actual 200 code, which is, is the generic, okay, things went well, this is what you want, but you've also got 201 created, 202 accepted, um, and then the 206 partial content you see sometimes. Um, so those are th that means everything went well. If it's in the 200 range, you're just happy and life is good. The 300 range is the go away one, and that means there's some form of a redirect. So somehow it's like, the, you know, I know you tried to come here. This is not where we want you to be. So 301 is the most common, which is moved permanently. So if you go to the Karani website, http colon slash slash Karani app dot com, you get a 301 redirect to the secure version of the same thing. Um, 302 found. Um, I don't entirely know when we're supposed to be using this one, but there's some level of it's kind of here, but, um, and so again, I haven't really seen this very often. Uh, 303 is not moved, but it's referencing you somewhere else. And I think there's another one. Um, oh, uh, 304, if you send headers saying, I only want this if it's been modified after a certain date, 304 says, nope, hasn't. You can keep using the one that's in your cache. And uh, I think that's the main one that people use. So 404 is the one where it says you screwed up client has done something wrong. So you requested a page that doesn't exist, which is 404. You requested a page you don't have access to, which is 403. Um, unauthorized, which is just generally bad, which is 401. Um, and then you've got things in terms of like, oh, well, you can do get, but you can't do post or whatever. That one would be 405, method not allowed. Um, and there's a lot of things that have to do with your, your headings. Headers aren't good or something timed out. This is all living in the 400 space. And there's a lot. 
Uh, there's some funny ones, including 418, I'm a teapot, which was an April Fool's joke, and 420, and if you don't know, 420 is like the police code for marijuana or something like that, which is en- enhance your calm, which is what Twitter used to send uh, if you were rate limited. If you were doing it too much, they're like, whoa, man, chill out, 420. Um, and then there's just a ton of things here. Um, and then uh, speaking of which, if you're doing rate limiting and you're not in old school Twitter land, which nobody should be anymore, it's now 429. And then 500 is the one where it says I screwed up. 500 is the server error. So you've probably seen five, I'm trying to think, I think it's like 503 before, which is what a lot of PHP errors have. Um, Service unavailable. Yeah. Um, 500 is just the generic error. Um, And there's bandwidth related things and all this kind of stuff. Again, you can learn about all this. So that's the basics of HTTP status codes. A few other pieces before we got to go. If you go to HTTP status Dot io there's three sites that have almost exactly the same url it's a status checker and you can type in any url and it'll tell you back whatever the headers are and you can even customize your request headers and say well what about if i send this request header what about that request header um there's http stat dot us so http status and it's a list of all the codes um that you can so, so you basically go to that slash a code and it'll just return you something that that returns that code and so you can use it for testing your application and then there's http status dot yes so http statuses and that one actually shows you information about what all the different options are that are available to you available to you so that's just one little piece and i mean hopefully this is maybe saying oh well what else is going on with request headers what else is going on with response headers but this is the basic one you gotta know this you gotta know what these response headers mean and you gotta understand that they're numerical in part strongly in part strongly in part so that uh, a machine can consume it because a machine can't consume text. What if it's a different language? All that kind of stuff. The machine can say, if 404, then X. If 301, then X. If whatever, whatever, then, then whatever. So that's it. Um, and if you're here because you're a 404 in the 5 Minute Geek Show, I hope you really love this episode and you're going to go check out the rest of them. Uh, this has been Matt Stauffer signing off. Peace. <laughs>